so yeah, as, as Errol said, we've gone through all the technology. We're now going to try and you know quite quickly pull it together and and, and say, okay, what does this mean to 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 yourselves that are you know building networks and yep. building equipment? Um, so you know we've talked about a lot of these different standards groups that are all trying to define different parts of the network. IEEE is kind of the foundation for Ethernet. Um, uh, we have ITU, which does uh, largely the long haul. Uh, there's a group called the uh, Optical Internet Internetworking Forum, which which does some of these uh, interoperability agreements of, of the pieces which are missing. And then, as I mentioned, we, we have all these um, MSAs, which are on top of that, these multi-source agreements. So you tend to have these kind of foundational pieces, and then you have all these groups together. And the difference here is this is kind of open and, and, and standard. Here, these are all kind of membership-based. Um, so different companies get together. If uh, the challenge here is all companies have to agree, the challenge here is if someone doesn't agree with you, you kick them out of the group, and then you can make a decision quicker, right? If if you were the one that kicked out, well, you go start a different group and come up with a different solution. So we, we get a bit of a mess, um, but you know we, we do work through it all. Um, why does this matter? Um, kind of putting it all together from a Cisco point of view, we're building a system. We're trying to build a solution for um, for our customers. And so we're responsible for you know, building the line cards. And some things are standardized, like the, the Mac, which we put inside our ASICs. The electrical interfaces are often defined by the IEEE as well. Those are all standards-based. Um, you know, we'll put connectors on our boards. And, and that's what we kind of own. We own the power delivery. We own how to keep it cool. Um, then you get these modules that plug into it. And, and that's really a, a choice of the, of the system vendor. Um, you know, do we know how to pack them in there as much as we need to? Do we know how to keep them cool? Um, typically, the module doesn't affect interoperability. So if you have a, an, an SFP on one end and you have a Zen pack on the other end, it doesn't matter because um, that, that's what, not what defines interoperability. What actually defines interoperability is, is the actual the interface itself, the Mac, which defines which order the bits go, and, and the interfaces themselves, which define the signal levels or the speeds and so on and so forth. And, and those typically are, uh, sometimes they're standards based. Uh, more often than not now, they're becoming MSA based, right? So now MSAs, um, these groups of companies that get together, they're actually defining some of the points of interoperability, um, whereas typically IEEE, that was their domain. Um, and sometimes they're proprietary interfaces. Uh, Cisco do some like uh, within the BiDi space at 40 gig, that was a, a BiDi. Um, we do some longer reach multi-mode things, but typically the point of interoperability is 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 here. That the the order of the bits is defined by by the IEEE. 